Hello everybody and welcome back to another The Punisher episode. This is season one, episode nine, Front Toward Enemy. It happened so fast, I couldn't stop it. And it was your boyfriend. I it over and over again. And now you're wondering what right you have to I really want her to find out that it was him. answer that question. Tell you what, she's either dirty or the woman is a total shit magnet. Why don't we just send it all over the email? Up, what a birthday. If you do not, I will know you are one of them. He's totally crazy. You and everyone at your liberal paper will be on my list. Then he writes, Give me liberty. liberty or give me death. Death. Ah, oh, yes. Real original. Crazy motherfucker. All right, fine. I'll say something to the FBI. You can start writing, I'll make the call. Do not touch that. Of course. She already did. Every time I close my eyes, I see Sam Stein's face staring up at me. He had this look when he was dying. He wasn't sad or scared. He was surprised. Because he saw your boyfriend. It was ending that way. No, he couldn't believe it. What just was your boyfriend? I can't shake that look. This man is not a patriot. He's a coward. A terrorist. A crazy motherfucker. Jesus Christ, Karen. Why are you going after him like this? Well, we're about to find out. What are you talking about? Girlfriend's on the radio. Turn that up. Morning, New York. You are listening to the Ricky Langtree Show, and I am your host. Could be some local hero with a handgun puts a cap in this guy's ass. You could even argue that the right to put a cap in his ass is part of the foundation that America was built upon. Okay. Ricky, really? That was almost 300 years ago. Miss Page, wouldn't you agree that in this day and age, no ordinary citizen needs to carry a gun? I'm barking up the wrong Nobody tree, right? ever needs to carry a fucking gun. gun? Scared, Senator. Uh, genuinely afraid for your life. It, in a situation where a gun and the willingness to use it might be the only difference between living or dying. Guns are a toxin in our society. In the wrong hands, they wreak terrible results. Yeah, most... It's barely a year since this city was terrorized by the Punisher. No, uh, that's hardly the same thing. Frank Castle killed murderers and drug dealers. Where's the line? Most of the people who have a gun because they're afraid of their life have some sort of mental illness. 37? So, that's... Castle was a hero to many who felt that he was doing what cops failed to do. No, my name is not important. Only my actions. You're talking to New York? Everybody knows your boys. Well, the people who knows you. Why did you say the way you speak about me, Karen? Because I despise everything you've done. He's up, Karen. This country is being cannibalized by She's so gonna get killed. Oh, Frank, you've gotta protect your girlfriend. Then taking our gun so we can't do anything about it. <laughs> You're such a coward. Sick Semper Tyrannus. What's that supposed to mean? Well, New York. He said that. He said six Semper Tyrannus. He said that. Sure about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How often you hear Latin? Yeah, I'm sure about it. <laughs> Curtis talked to me about that kid. He said he said he's always blaming others for his problems. His name is his name is Lewis, and he drives a cab. Hmm? Lewis, and he drives a cab. Could, could you find him on there? Lewis, Wait. and he drives a cab. That's not much to go on. Come on, he's a vet. I just, He's army, all right? He, he's white. 
25 years old. He's definitely under 30 years old. Could you just find him, please? That narrows it down. But listen, Frank, are you sure that this is the same guy? I'm goddamn sure. God damn it! Come on, David, just find him. This piece of shit's going after Karen. And you gotta protect her. The deal is, is that no, no one's going to go after her. No, just find him! Do you want to go after this guy? You're goddamn right. Listen, listen. I'm gonna want to say this once, okay? So is Karen. If something happens to her, I... Just, okay. Please. Dude, chill. <laughs> He'll fight him. Oh no. Oh no. You're dead. We like you, don't die. O'Connor! Figured, um, bitch. Need some help, you know? Talk. Yeah, Let's talk is down. not really yeah. helping him. I can't leave here without you, buddy. You know that, right? Which is why you're not living. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, come on. You don't have a leg, but I'm not, I know you're good. Please. You're better than him. He's crazy, though. Gone. Does he really want to take his leg off? Like, that's such a dirty play. Oh my god, make him pass out. Oh, the dead guy. The dead guy. Stop trying to take his leg off. Dirty, dirty. No, don't kill him. Fucking stop. Try to fix him. I'm doing this my way. I like his way better. I'm sorry. It's more... I guess useful. It's it's like the best way. It's the only way that works. Any other way is just too dangerous. Not that I... Uh. It's faster and it's better. Why don't we do the? Shh, shh, shh. Where did you come? This is what you get for trying to help. Did you beat me? Beat me on my own leg. <laughs> That's very sad. And that was a dirty play. A United States Marine. You're nothing but shit on my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> You're nothing but shit on my shoes. I couldn't squeeze that trigger. And when she blew herself up, well, she killed that kid that Curtis was working on. She blew off Curtis's leg, too. That's so fucked up. Try the white wire. Try. Try. Like, I don't know if it's gonna go is if it's gonna work, but try it. Oh my god, friend. Oh no. Blackout's coming. No, I'm gonna be late. Thanks. <gasps> oh shit! Really not in the mood, buddy. Cat's out of the bag, so now what? Shit's about to get very fucking interesting. I'm guessing we're getting close to the season finale. I don't know how many episodes there's supposed to be, maybe like 10 or 12. Shit's gonna get very, very interesting from this point on, and I'm pretty sure that when the season ends, they're gonna leave us... I don't know the word for it, wait... Like, with, with a lot of questions, like, they're not gonna let us close that chapter. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode with me, and as always, I'm Sermiano, and I'll see you in my next video. 